Good morning and welcome to 408. I'm on my way in right now. It's 7.53 in the morning. We have a senior meeting from 8 until, I don't know, maybe 8.30 or when first period ends at 8.55. I don't know. It's information about caps and gowns and graduation and all the fun stuff that we have to look forward to in May. So uh, we'll get that done and I'll talk to you in a few hours. Ah, the State of the Union address. It's 9 o'clock. I haven't done or filmed anything all day. I did talk to BMW North America about that pixel repair, but I will fill you in later. And uh, I'm going to watch some of this. Maybe I'll film some of it. I think it's an hour. If it's more than an hour, I may skip through and do other stuff while I watch it. But uh, State of the Union, pretty interesting. It's not John Kerry. That guy looked like John Kerry. I don't know what he's doing anymore in government. Maybe he is doing something. That guy. That definitely looks like John Kerry. I think I spy the first lady. Well, it took him five minutes to get the guy out here and probably another five minutes to walk up to the big area. Five minutes later, he's made it up to the podium with um, Joe Biden and uh, I don't know who the other guy is. Probably the Speaker of the House. Yeah, I think it is the Speaker, Mr. Boner. In two decades, Osama bin Laden is not a threat to this country. Good. So uh, the first thing he's talking about now is first time in nine years, nobody fighting in Iraq. That would not have happened under McCain, I don't think. And uh, bin Laden's gone. Three million jobs. So here's what it looks like under Obama with jobs, job losses, the Bush administration. As soon as Obama gets in, this comes around and turns positive. Naturally, this is released from the U.S. government. But if you look anywhere, these are very close to the statistics year, that you'll find. They created the most jobs since 2005. Time since the late 1990s. Together, we've agreed to cut the deficit by more than $2 trillion. There's the workers, January 2009, the auto industry. We got the industry to retool and restructure world's number one automaker. And there's GM Beck. Entire industry That's one of the things he's done that I actually really like, is he completely jobs. has turned around GM and Ford. We look at the products five years workers. ago, and now look. We bet on They're American ingenuity. Huge difference. And tonight... We can't bring every job back that's left our shore. Cleveland, shore-wise. Pittsburgh, but right Raleigh. Now, that's what's dick, the taxes. The more money you make, the less taxes you pay. Thanks, GW. It's ridiculous to me that if you make so, if you make that much money, you pay less taxes. I'm for, I forget what they call it, it's been a while since I've taken economics, but the more money you make, the more taxes you pay, period. Let it grow with income. All right, that was a great State of the Union. It's 10.16 uh, p.m. Looks like that just wrapped up. So now they'll just spend the next 10 minutes clapping. So I'm done with that, which means it's time to edit today's vlog. And I'll fill you in on the call with BMW. I think I mentioned last week, thank you to Bobby, right? Who I'm talking to now. Yeah, actually it was. Thanks, Bobby. I'm talking to you on Skype. But um, I called BMW North America to see if they would uh, be able to help pay for the, some of the parts to fix that display in the car with the burnout pixels. Notice some people mentioned it on the E39 source channel. Uh, I called, talked to a representative, they said they needed the title of the car and registration for proof of ownership, so I sent that last week. Um, I called back today to see if they got it and where we need to go. Um, reached my representative, Joanne, talked with her. They're gonna submit the claim to BMW, and in a couple days I'll get a call back and they will tell me if um, they can help assist with the parts cost. If they can, and it'll cost me less than a few hundred, then yes, I will do it and have it fixed. If it's gonna be more than two or three or four hundred dollars, no, it's not worth it for me. I can read the information that I have to read, and that's what's important, and it's not, it's not worth hundreds of dollars for me to fix. So before I really start to ramble, I'm gonna get this edited. Looks like we're gonna be at about four and a half to five minutes. And I'll talk to you tomorrow on Wednesday, already, the 25th, 4.09. Good night.